Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. So I'm going to begin. I'm going to be looking at your energy versus your person's energy in this tarot card reading. So before I begin what I'm sensing right off the bat from these particular cards is the sense that in your respective situation you know there's this element of you always having been completely honest with yourself as well as with this individual right I'm sensing yeah that you know it's not possible for you to say things that you don't mean or to make promises that you can't keep i feel like there's an energy of you always being authentic and always being upfront the fact that certain cards have come out um, you know in favor of others is giving me an indication of the fact that spirit is you know pointing in the direction of one's values pointing in the direction of one's you know um, morals and characters yeah now i'm sensing that there's a difference between you and your person your energy is about authenticity, honesty, clarity, transparency. I feel like for a lot of you, you know, there's a difference here. Your person's energy is coming across as someone that hasn't been honest with themselves, is not used to being honest about things, you know. So they might have a habit of going around things. Maybe they lie to themselves. It could be little white lies. It could be... Um, big lies it could be that they lie to other people as well so this could be an energy that they bring forth in this connection and so there's a clash of beliefs between both you and this individual concerned okay now not all of you are dealing with an individual that has a habit of um, you know speaking white lies or going out of their way just to upset the equation of the relationship this person you know, some of you could have certain variations of this personality in your person's energy right now. And so it's being emphasized for a specific reason. I feel like your person hasn't been honest with themselves. And I also feel as if they blur the lines when it comes to what they really go through, what they experience. It feels like a very shadowy type of energy. They can't be as clear or upfront as they would like to be. Or perhaps they're just wired to be in a certain manner. Now, I'm sensing here that... In this situation, you know, you may notice that this individual, they have this one sort of outlook where they feel pretty much pleased with themselves most of the time. They might come into your life, they might be in and out of your life, but whenever they come in, they feel as if, you know, they have it all figured out. But there's this energy here that I'm picking up from them, which is indicating that, you know, they don't have what they assume they have they don't have that sort of ability to read through the lines they don't have that ability to really understand things on a deeper level because what i get from this individual's energy is you know trying to look at the light trying to look at the dark trying to gain a perspective thinking they are doing something extraordinary when in fact they're doing something very ordinary i get that from your person's energy for some reason it's coming out very heavily right now and these are little tiny nuances that you pick up from a person going through changes things of that sort but these intrinsic qualities that they have is very deeply entrenched in who they are as an individual they may progress as a human being to another stage or another chapter in their life but in their true essence they have these fluctuations of which they are always trying to see you know different perspectives or trying to understand things so some of you may be dealing with somebody who pushes your buttons at certain times tries to figure out what you're going to do how you're going to react and it's like a program it feels like that so some of you are you know in a situation where you've given a lot to this individual i'm picking up this energy where you've contributed and you've been very generous you've been very kind you've been you know pouring your heart out doing whatever you need to do in order to please this individual but for some of you you may have you know felt as if this individual doesn't deliver in correspondence to what you have to offer it's like they like to take and take and take but they don't give back very much right so you may have to ask yourself that question what type of individual are you involved with here is this someone that you want to continuously you know uh, contribute to in terms of the equation because you know that this person has feelings but they are unable to really bring it out in the way that can please you you know so i feel like there's something here that spirit is definitely pointing you in the direction of 
now your energy it did come off as showing that you're willing to give you're willing to contribute you're willing to you know go above and beyond but at this point in time i feel like you're tired of giving and so you've definitely raised up your sword you've definitely in this position where you're not going to be taken for granted anymore and you're not going to give your energy away to this individual as well so i do pick that up very heavily your person's energy is coming across as you know being a know-it-all, having it all figured out, sitting high on their throne and having this sort of uh, look as if everything is well, everything is happy with them, you know? So in their current position in life, it doesn't matter what work they do, who they are and what's going on in their world. There's a very clear indication that this person has the pretense of happiness on the outside, but has a deep inner misery on the inside. And this is something that may have to stay with them for the rest of their lives, unless they are able to do the work that is necessary in order to get out of that, right? So by them continuously, you know, saying little white lies or doing little things that, you know, either aggravate you or aggravate people around them, you know, it feels as if that energy is perpetuating. It's something that uh, it becomes sort of like this whirlpool of energy where they get sucked into it and they can't quite escape it. Very vivid imagery coming across from spirit right now. But I feel like your person is lost in a time warp and they are unable that they're stuck in that sort of black hole of an energy, right? So I'm seeing here that for some of you, you know, you're looking at the situation and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, whereas this individual's energy is pointing in the direction of wanting to build towards something. But the problem that the two of you have here is that you're looking for expansion, you're looking for growth. But this individual, they have feelings for you and they haven't been in denial about those feelings. Yet at the same time, I'm sensing here that there's this energy of which you're looking to see what are your other possibilities when it comes to love and happiness, whereas this individual is actually walking away at this point in time. So as you go off to explore your possibilities and what lies ahead, I feel as if there's a, you know, a deviation between where the two of you are heading in. There's something separating both you and this person. It's like you're going off to see what's out there for yourself and you are very excited by the possibilities of what lies ahead. But this individual is indicating walking away from the situation, aware that they have feelings, but not completely um, able to do anything about it right now. So this is, you know, how it was, where it's heading in and uh, where the current situation is standing right now, you know. So I feel like in terms of this uh, relationship that you share with this individual, some of you are having a hard time communicating with this individual because sometimes you don't really know what you're going to get out of them or what are they going to communicate back to you. It feels like that sort of energy, whereas this individual's is showing a very clear indication they have emotions there but to be open and honest about those emotions is something that is so um, difficult for them to do it feels like they would rather swallow their own tongue than do that in terms of this equation of uh, a relationship so you're dealing with someone that is very very stubborn someone who's very proud someone who likes to think they have it all figured out or likes to make themselves appear bigger than they actually are but in their essence, I feel like this individual is, um, you know, unable to truly follow their heart. And they're getting caught up in everything that is happening in their life. And as a result, I can see why, you know, there's um, a shift that is happening in this situation. You're going in one direction, they're going in another direction. And, um, you know, the fact that they were not able to be as open and honest about what they should have uh, said or done or uh, contributed to this equation... It makes things even more difficult because it shows you that you have a different foundation compared to this individual and they have some sort of inner problem in terms of bringing out their emotions and communicating it in the way that they should or pouring out their heart in the way that they should. I do see your emotions, but I also see some very childish behavior. I also see some, you know, antagonistic type of attitudes coming from within them. It's like there's feelings there, but love in itself. What purpose does it serve this individual, you know? They're just going on with their life, living day to day. And, you know, very likely that there's this uh, entrenched sort of misery in this individual concern. They don't know how to make it go away. They don't know how to improve themselves as an individual. They might be too old to do so. They might be, you know, um, at, a, at an age where it's not possible for them to change in the way that you want them to, right? 
just because they have um, certain habits, certain patterns, they're set in their ways. And it could be very difficult because I do sense here that, um, you know, some of you have been trying with this person for some time, but you don't really know if it's going to lead to anything. And some of you have reached a point where you don't know if you want to communicate or if you're going to communicate. What do you need to say? What do you get off your chest in this situation? Because I feel like it's it's sort of like two atoms that have, you know, been moving along in the journey of life. And you caught sight of one another and there was a similarity there. And there's something to give to one another. But your person can't open up on an emotional level and you can't start that conversation that needs to happen between the two of you. So... I do feel like there's this um, flourishing energy inside of your world right now where you're open to the possibility of growth, potential, as well as joy. And I see this individual languishing in a sense of emotions that are built inside of them, but not having an opportunity to come out, not having an opportunity to be explored in the way that it needs to be explored. So this is the way that things are currently in your respective situation right now. So let's see if we can uh, get some additional messages here. Yeah, there's definitely a sense in this particular situation that everything appears to be a certain way, but it's not actually like that. It feels as if, you know, uh, there's a lot of things that are being kept quiet about. There's a lot of silence in the situation. There's a lot of pretenses that are going on here. It's like everything is getting swept under the rug. And for some of you, that might be quite okay. You know, you might be okay to move on with your life and forget about this individual and just get on with it, you know. For others, you still have this hope that something can be resuscitated and something can come to fruition in this respective situation. But the person you're dealing with has a lot of stubbornness, a lot of pride. They have a lot of ego and it might be unfounded because they might not be able to back it up in terms of their physical elements, you know, their mental elements. They might fall short of all those qualities to a very large extent but still you put up with them because there's this element of similarity there and you want to understand, you know, if there's a possibility of restoring this connection, is there a possibility of bringing it into something that grows instead of withers, right? So this is the energy as it stands right now. And the way that Spirit paints it out is definitely highlighting the finer elements, the more subtle elements. Not all love readings are going to be fairy tales. It is giving you a snapshot of what, the way that uh, things are at this moment in time. And that's just the way it is, you know. I'm never going to paint it in a way that it's not. So what I'm going to explore in the extended is your person's mind, heart and soul energy. What's stopping them from opening up on an emotional level? As well as why are they walking away? What are they walking towards? You know, is there a potential for this to be resuscitated? What are your real options in this situation? What exactly is going to make you feel a sense of happiness in this entire equation? Are you ready to let this go? Are you ready to move on? You know, are you, or do you want to make this work with this individual? So I'm going to be exploring everything from many perspectives to see what is really happening here because um, it seems as if the two of you are going in different directions right now. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.